Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Morning Segment. I am your host Nick Smith, and if you guys watched, uh, I just did another Morning Segment video, but this is a new one. Um, now what am I going to talk about, uh, what else am I going to talk about? I'm going to talk about Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1, the official trailer. And we've had teasers, and if you want to see my teaser, my talk about the teaser trailer, go to my YouTube page and, and watch it. But um, this one is, I'm going to discuss the trailer and what I think about it so far and how I think the movie is going. Um, so yeah, here we go. Um, the movie looks very promising. You know, they're doing the, you know, thing with Harry Potter Part 1 and Part 2, which, let's all be honest, it worked with Harry Potter, and it didn't work with Twilight. It's gonna work with this, because Hunger Games is actually good. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. I can't stand Twilight. Um, but for some reason, I have the books. Don't judge. Um, I have read the Hunger Games books, and before this movie even came out, I already read Mockingjay. Mockingjay was my favorite book out of all three of them. Um... I'm guessing that part one is going to end with them getting PETA back and with they discovering how PETA is and what he's like now. Because PETA is the government's weapon. Because it, in this trailer we get um, dialogue from Katniss, like how they've been doing in the amazing, in the, in the, in the first two, in, well actually in all three Spider-Man films, like how when Peter would give dialogue about like how, you know, he's been Spider-Man for a couple years and everything like that. And even with the Resident Evil movies, <clears throat> with Alice doing her dialogue, they're doing that in the trailer and Katniss is talking about how she never wanted to be in the games. All she wanted to do was to protect her sister and keep Peter alive. And it shows that she's talking to President Snow and he's like, Miss Everdeen, it's the things that we love that destroy us the most. And then this trailer does something awesome, which it shows us District 13, how they're living underground. District 13 has been leveled, but underground is where they are. They are living underground under the control of Julianne, uh, with Julianne Moore, who is playing the, who is playing the runner of District 13. I forget the character's name, but, um, and basically they're, ba they're, it's basically cat like we see all the survivors of part one of uh from catching from catching fire you know it's all it's all the survivors and how they're in district 13 and how they're coping and how they're getting ready to go to battle and they're also shown they showed katniss in her mockingjay outfit and it's basically somewhat a little bit like battle armor it's nothing like what i was thinking i was also thinking that they were going to take something from um Cinna's uh, Mockingjay outfit from the second movie and combine that with something. Give her wings and, you know, the abilities of flight because that would be awesome. But this suit is actually made by Cinna and it, it, it looks pretty good. It really does. And Katniss is basically talking how she talks to in the book, how she's like, you will bring back Peter or you can find another Mockingjay. Forget, forget this. And it shows basically how everyone's coping and getting ready for battle and Peter, how he's talking to them how he's talking to the world on that talk show with Caesar and basically how PETA is basically how PETA is now. Because if you all have read the books and if you all have seen the trailer, you know that PETA has been brainwashed. Uh, spoilers, by the way. Um, PETA has been brainwashed and he's going to be, they're going to be showing him on the news, I'd say a couple times, because in the book that's what happens. Um... And, you know, how he's basically saying, you all need to throw down your weapons and just surrender. Which, you know, they're, of course, not going to do. So now, Katniss wants to save PETA and take down President Snow. But, um, part one is looking pretty promising. It, it really is. And I cannot wait for it to come out. It comes out on, no, it comes out in November. I'm honestly hoping I have enough money to go watch it. Because I really want to review this film. I, I really do. I cannot wait for, Mock, for Mockingjay Part 1. The Hunger Games are my favorite book series so far. But guys, put in the, I will put the trailer in the description box. Put in the comments below. What do you think about this trailer? How do you think that they're going to change anything in the book? What do you guys think about this? Do you think that splitting them into two movies is going to work? I really do. I think that it's going to have a good effect. Guys, I'm Nick Smith. Stay tuned for my upcoming review on The Lost World and my review of the first episode of Gotham. Have a great day, guys.